Hi, this is Dr. Fast here. In this video, I will show you this brand new Oxbeam LED light bar. This is their C3 series. Now, the unique thing about the C3 series is that it features three rows of LEDs. So let me open this up and I'll show you what the light bar looks like. In this box, we have the hardware for mounting the bracket. Now this one I have here is 23 inch. I also have this wiring harness which you'll need to wire this light bar to your vehicle. As you can see from looking at this light bar, the design is very unique. In the middle, we have a very high density array of LEDs. There are a total of 72 LEDs for this 23 inch model. And each of these individual LEDs have its own reflector cup. On the side, we have an additional 18 LEDs here. Also another 18 LEDs on that side. And these act as a floodlight. So the middle part is your spotlight and the side is your floodlight. The beam angle of the spotlight in the middle is a very focused 10 degrees. The side floodlights have a beam angle of 150 degrees. The total light output is a very bright 10,800 lumens. Now the color temperature is 6,000 K, that's pure white. And this light bar will operate between minus 40 to 85 degrees Celsius. The operating voltage is anywhere between 10 to 30 volt DC. So this will work with 12 volt or 24 volt vehicles. The construction of this light bar is very solid. The housing is all aluminum. There are heat sinks at the back to help dissipate heat. The front is a polycarbonate lens. Now this light bar is IP67 rated. So that means it's waterproof and dustproof. On the side, they also incorporated an equalizer vent. This will help equalize the pressure between inside the light bar and outside. So it prevents water from getting in. Here's a closer look at the light bar. Here's the back. The wiring that comes from the light bar goes to these two bare wires. So you will need to crimp connectors on these wires to connect to the relay wiring harness. On the relay wiring harness, these two wires are used to connect directly to the light bar. Over here on the left we have the relay and the fuse. The red wire from the fuse goes directly to the battery and the black wire here will go to your chassis ground. Now there's an additional red wire here. This is your trigger wire. So you can connect this to your ignition or say to your headlight or parking light. So when you turn off any of those triggers it will turn off the light also in addition to using this on off switch. Now this light bar comes with bottom mount. It does not have side mounts. Now if you look at one of the bottom side, you'll see four nuts already inserted inside. You use those to install these brackets in this position. And it comes with all the nuts and bolts and the Allen wrench you'll need to do this install. So here I've connected my external battery to the wiring harness. I'm in my backyard and I'll do a test to show you the light output. I'll shine the light from one side of the yard to the other, which is about 100 feet away. Right now I'll turn on the light bar.
as you can see the center has a very focused beam but you can also see the side is illuminated because of the floodlights. As you can see, this C3 series triple row LED light bar from Oxbeam performs very well. If you want to check out this product, I'll put a link in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section. And don't forget to click on the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.